and gentlemen, this exists tonight. Tonight exists because of the vision of the quirkiest, most eccentric man you ever met, Dr. Robert Fan. Yeah! Dr. Fan, the brunt of every cruel joke. They mocked him. They mocked him terribly. Dr. Fan at the town meetings, they hated him. They derided him. Dr. Fan had a vision that the minority party could impact, tremendously impact the, the political process. And so 32 years ago, I believe it would have been, Dr. Fan starts the Independent Party. And after 32 years of working with, working against parties, working with parties, Along comes a chairman for a Republican Party in Bethel by the name of Bill Hillman. And Bill Hillman, who's here, takes Dr. Fan's vision and finally puts the theory into practice. And hence, henceforth, we have Cynthia McCorkendale, known by all from various walks of life for, for overcoming more challenges than anybody I could ever, ever describe. And when her book comes out, which is on hold, she's writing the book of her life, but the election campaign has put it on hold, you will be shocked to read the way Cynthia's life is gone. So this is a perfect episode with this. But Cynthia McCorkendale, through Dr. Fan, ends up on the Board of Education. And isn't there that Buddhist uh, proverb that says, thank your opponents, thank your enemies. Don't thank your friends. It's your enemies that make you what you are. Well, Cynthia met Dr. Gary Chesley. Yeah! Now, Dr. Gary Chesley was the most Machiavellian school superintendent in the world. And she cut her teeth going head to head with Gary Chesley. And there's signs, that, I don't have one of the signs here, it said all or none. They were emblazoned all throughout time, town of 212. And Cynthia helped initiate the first, uh, uh, ref, um, what do you call it, initiative and referendum on a local level in Bethel. 600 signatures, we formed a, um, we got enough signatures to literally write an ordinance and to pass it via the charter. Cynthia spent hundreds of hours working, researching, strategizing, there would be no all or none. And what's interesting, Dr. Fan, when I met him in 1986, was hell-bent on doing away with Bethel's traffic ticket quota. The cops had to give out a certain number of tickets a month. El Russo probably had to do that once or twice. <laughs> Actually, they ran me out of town more than once. So, but, and, and when Dr. Fan was met with such hostility locally, they greeted him in the state. It became a state law that you could not have traffic ticket quotas in the state's uh, municipal police departments. Similarly, after Cynthia passes all or none, um, Senator McLaughlin and a guy from Windsor go up to, to Hartford and they made it a law that clipped the wings of 169 school superintendents who were using the school system, the communications network, the email list. They were using it as a, a personal um, uh, political action committee organ to the exclusion of everybody else in town. You had a town of 10,000 voters and 3,000 were getting up to the minute information. And, what, and it was proven the night, it was in April 24th, 2012, when the town, the Matt Knickerbocker changed the venue of the town meeting. And everybody in the school knew it because they all got emails. We didn't know it. We didn't know it until we got there. And so it just showed you what the lack of um, the imbalance. One team is playing with shoulder pads and the other side has nothing. And that's what's going on right now with the school project. But that's another story. So Cynthia cut her teeth on all or none. And then the side. Do you remember this? Remember this. We still camp here with the men's over 65 camping club. You men that are old enough can join us in January of 2018. There's only two of us in the club. <laughs> Nobody wants to be in the club. But we saved it. Bob Trippy's coming this year. Bob, is, Bob, he finally turned over 65. He can go. When Aquarian came 
came in here and Matt Knickerbocker was trying to sell the public water system, which was, a, what, what, we could have been a legitimate debate by the people of this town. It was a 13 month secret negotiation between our top elected official and a private water company, uh, where were they, from uh, Bahrain or something, where are they, in Dutch, or they? Australia, anyway, okay. so anyway, Cynthia, Cynthia, we spent hundreds of hours of, fight, of researching the, the, the sale of, of public water supplies to private companies, and we became, when that, when that was defeated, and all of that, the underground was explo exposed by Cynthia because she got thousands of pages of email, nobody does what Cynthia does researching emails in the town hall. And uh, it, we, we won that big time. We became one of only 17 towns in the country that successfully defeated the sale of a municipal water supply to a private company. This little girl here did that. And I got so much credit. It was wonderful because people would say, yeah, you did it, Billy. They didn't know she put all the work into it. And I got the credit. It was all Cynthia. So, uh, let me see. That, I, I think that's pretty much... I talked about her childhood. You have no idea. But I'll tell you something. There's not a person in Bethel that when you walk through a, an airport and you hear a voice singing, it's Cynthia. Cynthia's got compilations of her songs, her jazz records, all over the world. And people will say, I was in the airport and I heard Cynthia's voice. So, I mean, as an indicator of how successful she's been at whatever she does, I always say she's got the biggest brain that I know, and she can take these challenges. She has the mental capacity to, to, to take on things, to take on Aquarian, to take on All or None, to take on Gary Chesley, to take on an incumbent with eight years here. She can do it because she's un undoggedly, she's one of the smartest people I know, and by far, she's one of the most powerful people I know, because she never takes no for an answer, and she never takes what you tell her to be the truth. And I think that's the best thing. You can tell Cynthia anything is the truth. She doesn't believe you. And she, you know, if there's one thing, if there's one aspect that public education, or education should teach, it's to question the assumptions you live by and the crap that our elected officials tell us and then she questions everything so ladies and gentlemen she's going to say some words to you Cynthia McCorkendale God willing the next elected of Bethel Connecticut